Music Theory, a complete course from grades 1 to 5. Lesson 52, The Tenor Clef. The tenor clef is just below the alto clef and its fourth line is middle C. Apart from simply naming the notes of the tenor clef, an examination may require you to write out a simple melody from treble or bass into tenor clef, or vice versa. For example, the melody you see here in tenor clef becomes this in treble clef. The most common mistake made in examinations is to write the correct letter name but at the wrong octave. So, for reference, compare the notes you have written to how far away from middle C they are. The other thing to notice carefully here is the position of the sharps. For all the other clefs, treble, bass and alto, the sharps start off with a higher, lower, higher, lower pattern. But for the tenor clef, it starts with the first sharp in a lower position. For the flat key signatures, there is no such distinction. All clefs will start with a flat in a lower position. Now let's see how much you have understood. How would you write these notes in the treble clef for the tenor clef? The C above middle C in treble clef would be written above the second ledger line above the tenor clef stave, and the E just above middle C in the treble clef would be written on the top line of the tenor clef stave. Now I'll see you in the next video by clicking the card on the left, or for more practice on this topic, click the card on the right.